Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel at edlp.net uh, In this short video I'm going to teach you 19 necessary English words about the concept of punishment and uh, criticism and you need to know them if you want to pass uh, GRE, TOEFL and sometimes actually they can help you for IELTS exam uh, and I'm going to use the built-in dictionary, photo dictionary at LLP Society and you can do the same thing. Remember, it is only available for our registered students or team members. Okay, the first word is uh, diatribe. Just search for diatribe and you can play that as usual, you know. Diatribe. And here is the photo. And diatribe is an angry speech or a piece of writing addressing or a heaping criticism on somebody. Usually in front of a huge audience, as you can see, this person is at the podium letting out a diatribe against somebody. Okay, and if you want to read more and see the real examples, you can just click on that. And I told you, this is available only to our uh, registered students and even actually for example you don't know how to pronounce this word criticize for instance criticizes you know and you can select the whole n paragraph an angry speech or piece of writing which severely criticizes something or someone invective tirade attack denunciation harangue criticism discourse rant and you know there are really good examples and you can access this cool feature you know okay so this is the first word and what about the next one I have the list in front of me so the next word is opprobrium Opprobrium. Opprobrium. And okay, opprobrium. Uh, actually, it, it's a kind of severe criticism. So, for example, we say to heap opprobrium against somebody. Heap, H E A P, or let out opprobrium against or towards somebody. And again, actually, you can also click on that to access. Uh, actually this all the cool features and also if you don't know how to pronounce one word administering you can do that and so okay the next word is castigate castigate and yeah so castigate uh, means to actually criticize somebody very forcefully and for instance you could say uh, the teacher castigated the, uh, his students or her students for not studying for the exam okay so the next word is reprimand 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 okay and as it is clear by looking at the photo it means to actually castigate again and to criticize somebody and uh, for example you could say the employee was reprimanded by his boss or employer for being late okay so the next word is rebuke rebuke here it is rebuke how you rebuke. can just pronounce it yeah just click on that it is both a noun and a verb and it means to speak angry angrily 
to someone because you disapprove of what they have said or done. So to show strong disapproval. For example, you could say the the, the little girl here, for instance, was uh, rebuked by her her mother for talking to strangers without uh, her authorization or permission. I was rebuked by my manager for being late. Okay, so the next word uh, is throw the book throw the book at somebody, which is an idiom. Yes, uh, generally, I think it originated in the court atmosphere, so it is a legal term, it was a legal term, but it was expanded and actually the concept, the scope of its meaning actually became larger. So when somebody throws a book at somebody else, it means that he or she is criticizing them very strongly. Generally, it is something, as I said, actually, uh, judges used to throw a, th uh, throw a book at uh, criminals, you know, in the court of law. So, uh, let me just... Charge listen. or punish someone as severely as possible. Yes. Okay, so, so far so good. The other word is anathema. Yeah. Anathema. Okay, anathema means, let me just, yeah. Uh, anathema is something that is strongly disliked or disapproved of. For example, you could say uh, the new software program at office or in the office, in the workplace, or uh, was such an anathema to the old employees because the old employees could not get along with that, could not use it properly, and therefore it was such an anathema to them. Yeah, let me just play that. Anathema. Yeah, and it is a, um, a word extracted from 1100 words you need to know, but uh, actually the uh, examples are authentic. We do not use uh, the sentences from course books, you know, because we don't believe in that. You need to be open-minded and expand your uh, reading skills actually to other materials, not just limited to course books. Uh, okay, next word is indict, which is a very difficult and formal word. Indict. Pay attention, C is not pronounced. Indict. Indict. Another word from 1100 words you need to know, and it means to accuse somebody. It's a legal term, to accuse. For example, the grand jury indicted the defendant for just committing the crime. All right, so let me write accuse. I don't know if it is included in our dictionary. Let's see. Uh, no, we we don't have that. But anyway, you know, uh, our search box is so intelligent that it can uh, find and locate some relevant topic, topically relevant words. For example, Philadelphia liar, and for example, alleged means uh, supposedly criminal, and. The noun form of indict is indictment. I don't know if it is included. Let's, let's see if it is. Yes, it is. Indictment. So it means accusation. Indictment. Accusation. Okay. And remember, if you just click on that, you will see the other synonyms and also obvious criticism example indictment of and many other words and you can also play them if you don't know how to we've seen enough of the damning indictment of the proposed useless method 
Yeah. So this is perfect si. in order to practice vocabulary and also listening comprehension. And if you have any question, you can use this comment form and type down your question and uh, we will answer your questions immediately. This is only available for uh, available to our uh, registered students. Okay, next word is repudiate. Another difficult word, but you need to know repudiate. Repudiate. Repudiate means to accept to to refuse to accept something as true. Repudiate. Reject something. Okay. And it is another word from 1100 words you need to know and from this course book actually there are so many words uh, about the concept of uh, law I mean legal terms and punishment criticism and to be honest English is so replete with these words uh, okay so it means to re renounce reject abjure you know and Deny is the per simplest uh, synonym for that. Uh, next word is disparage. Disparage. And uh, to disparage means to show disapproval, uh, particularly by showing lack of respect or disrespect. You know, disparage. Disparage. Okay, another word from 1100 words you need to know. Here, as you can see, the apple is disparaging the uh, tomato. Okay, and if you just click on that, you will see the examples. And I'm just showing you the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, what you're seeing is just the tip of the iceberg. And you can actually become a registered member and join the other hundreds of uh, our students to get the most out of your learning in the best way forget about books forget about course books you know this is dynamic and where you can have access to fresh feed you know uh, fresh lessons on a daily basis so it's not just limited to that uh, okay so next word is thumbs down As you can see, it's another idiom, and it means to show disapproval and uh, to show strong dislike. Thumbs down. Okay. For example, uh, the football player uh, was receiving so much thumbs down, actually, by his uh, team members because uh, he was responsible for letting the whole for letting the whole team lose the match. And the exact opposite is thumbs up. I don't know if thumbs up is included or not. Let's see. I'm not sure. Thumbs up. Uh, no, it's not included. But anyway, so far we have uh, over 2,700 illustrated flashcards. That is 2,700 illustrated flashcards and the number is not fixed the number is going on every day and they are inter intertwined or interconnected you know okay so next word is uh, inveigh yeah inveigh these are difficult words but you need to know them in order to be different from ordinary English learners inveigh and you call a case with against. So, inveigh. Another word from 1100 words you need to know with authentic and real life, natural examples, you know, with illustrations. The website is talking to you. And this is the best if you really want to expand your English vocabulary in preparation for IELTS, TOEFL, and particularly GRE. Inveigh against means to give diatribe, do you remember, an opprobrium to somebody, so it collocates with against. For example, you could say the critics invade against the director for his terrible film or 
his latest product you know okay so the next word is um, invalidate uh, yeah invalidate so let's just play that to you invalidate invalidate so uh, it is clear it means to just uh, take away the validity of something so uh, in a way that it's, it's not going to be valid anymore so uh, for instance uh, you could say that the police invalidated his driving license because uh, of being so reckless yeah uh, okay so next word is invective Invective, which is a GRE word. Invective. Okay, invective is even actually stronger than an opprobrium, and it is more forceful, let's say, and uh, also it is more impolite and more direct or straightforward. You now, sometimes uh, you swear somebody. So we say there was a stream of invective against him. Stream of invective. Okay, next word is uh, lampoon. Lampoon is a uh, is both a noun and a verb. Okay, lampoon. Another GRE word. Lampoon. So. It is most of the time in a written form and satirical by nature. So you satirize a person, particularly uh, uh, it appears in politics. So we say it was a political lampoon against him. And generally it appears in magazines, you know, and newspapers, in the press. Yeah. And the, uh, here it is. The photo that can help you remember this word almost forever. Forget about translation. Never use any translation method. Transfer, translation kills the process of learning. Forget about coding that is also based on translation. You know, there are some uh, coding programs that just use your native language. So this can just slow slow. It can slow down the process of learning. So you need to learn English directly in English. That's the end of the story. Okay, so next word is penalize. Penalize. Penalize comes from the noun form penalty. So penalize. Penalize. Yeah. So to give a red card to somebody, it means that, okay, you are uh, um, strongly criticized. For example, this word uh, is frequently used in uh, blogging. You know, if you just use some duplicate material from other websites, because I'm a blogger, if I use uh, duplicate materials from other websites, I actually uh, in a notorious way so Google will penalize my website it means uh, it does not index my website uh, in its database and it does not show it to th uh, the visitors so I received that penalty uh, from Google okay so next word is reproach yeah Yeah. Reproach. Here it is. Reproach. And it means to criticize somebody. Uh, 
especially for not being successful or not doing what is expected of them and his mother reproached him for not eating all his dinner yeah so uh, the next word is reprehensible which means blameworthy reprehensible another word from 1100 words you need to know reprehensible reprehensible means blameworthy so uh, for instance you could say uh, that was that action or conduct was so reprehensible it deserved so much blame okay and the next word which is an idiom is sacred cow sacred cow so uh, I think it has an Indian origin and it means because in India cows and some animals are considered sacred and holy and they have this impunity it means that they cannot be punished they cannot be criticized so if uh, someone is considered a sacred cow it means that you cannot criticize him or her you know it's so simple to make that as association in your mind and uh, yeah so we yeah we come to the end of uh, our list but remember there are so many other words for example I don't I did not just include criticize because which is it is so simple or criticism you know and some other words uh, I told you there are over 2700 uh, illustrated flashcards with uh, the ability to listen to them if you select them democracy for example I just remember there is another word I just remember derogatory So derogatory, which is another word from 1100 words. Derogatory. And it means to criticize and to make fun of somebody. It was not listed. I just remembered that. And yeah, so you can just click on that and then study some examples, some authentic texts. And this is the best way to improve your, for example, put someone down. Is another word you know as I said our particular our website is so replete with many words about criticism and so on and so forth yeah all right thank you for your attention and you can contact us if you just visit our website a little bit at net to become a registered student and also you can be uh, you can access the whole material for free if you happen to be one of our team members and you can earn money for yourself particularly these days when uh, we face the lockdown so we cannot maybe actually have lost your job but don't worry at Elielbe Society you can earn money on your own and access all of the materials for free thank you very much for your attention and see you in our next lesson bye, -bye.